Yesterday, PTC Foforia published a huge update on their Foforia engine. Now we have version 10.14 and the biggest update or upgrade is uh, on the air targets which support now around 4000 square meters, which is huge. Before it was around 1000 square meters. Of course, it depends a bit on the detail density of, uh, of, the, of the area, of the environment. And um, they also say that the performance was increased. I haven't tested this yet, but uh, I'm looking forward to. And um, what this means, especially, that you're probably going to need less area targets so you can have larger areas together so you don't have you have to split up less uh, into smaller area targets which is pretty nice although there still is uh, this issue when for example you have um, like in this scan that i made from our college that you have um, similar the similar areas on on different in, in different locations for example on this floor they look very similar and if i remember we had oh we had some problems here during my bachelor thesis we had problems here in the entrance in the in the, in the staircase because here how can i move up and down oh, okay. yeah so in the on, on every floor this space looks about the same and at the beginning we try to detect automatically on which floor you are so we had problems that it thought it's lo localized but actually was on the, on the wrong floor so beware of that if you have uh, if you want to support if you want to create an air target of a huge space then you the Fufori engine might still get confused because it looks like it's in the same in, in the same spot. So you still probably want to enable area targets by floor, but each floor you can make much larger now. Because for example, um, recently on the project we, we reduced the, the, um, the area targets only to the corridors because on the air navigation it doesn't make sense to have uh, all of the the offices and, and everything so you only need the 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 areas that you are really doing the the navigation or where the user needs to be recognized of course it's nice when you are inside an office and you can go outside of the office but yeah at some point you need to to evaluate um the pros and cons so yeah you can yeah so um one other thing to consider is that uh, when you are cutting uh, away areas that you don't want in the area target generator, <coughs> then sometimes you cut off other areas that uh, are not intended. Um, for, yeah, unfortunately I don't have the, the big scan yet in, in, in here. But for example, if I want to cut away, um, Let's say I want to cut away this area because there is an office. Boom. And sometimes oh, it didn't happen now, of course, when you when you want to show something. Um, let's try something else. So here you can see, for example, if I put this back, check this region out here. If I undo this. Yeah, so I actually cut it only here, or it look appeared that I only cut it here, but it also cut away here. So um, when I did larger cutouts on, on on multiple floor levels, then I had problems with that it cut out at random areas of the of the of the scene, and that's yeah, it can be very frustrating. So be careful with that. It still makes sense to to cut out areas by by floor to create area targets by floor but um yeah it depends a lot on on how the your your area your building looks like um so yeah 4000 square meters is pretty huge it's more than half of a professional soccer soccer field so that is uh really nice 
I got a lot of comments um, in the yeah in the in the comment area. <laughs> Uh, how to disable and enable area targets in the migration guide from for for engine 9 to 10 you will find an information about this if you search for data sets because in the earlier version for for 9 it was done with the data sets and the area target tracker i think so you would have to load them from the file and then uh, deactivate and activate them with with a kind of a tracker like and with the new version they or, or not with the point fourteen but with four four ten they they also had this great update of um, making it much easier let me find this um, oh, maybe past it area targets here so yeah, this is the, the thing that you're looking for. You can load it from you can load it from the file. So, for example, if you yeah if you ha don't have it in the scene yet or or anything like this, but you can also just take the the area target from the from the component or from the game object, and you can enable it and uh, dis disable it like with with uh, um, does it say here? Uh, the little memory is no longer available. Yeah, this was the the air target tracker, and um, oh, it doesn't say it specifically here, but it says here for the image targets. No, not here. For the let me go back to the data set. Yeah, so here they show it for the image target. Yeah, you just have enabled, enabled to uh, disable the the component. So to show it here, basically what you're doing is you enable and disable the the script, which um, is pretty nice. It it saves a lot of uh, of um, logic, programming logic. Yes. So let me check if I covered everything that I want to say. It looks very good. The location prior, I, I tried also in in one of the projects with uh, with one of my clients. It didn't work so well as expected because one, I think the GPS signal was very weak in the building, um, and two, the the method they show in the uh, the method they they show. I mean, it's it, it it's written that they only um, do the they only support 2D? So let me let me make the example geolocation as location pair. So the idea is that you have GPS data that supports finding the location of the the area target. Um, but in my case, I it didn't work that it enabled the correct area target. So. Yeah, I have to look further into this uh, uh, later, but uh, it didn't work as expected. But they wrote somewhere that um, they only set the 2D position, so you don't have the altitude. Um, let me check this. Yeah, somewhere they have a sentence that they, in this example, they only show how it works with, with 2D. So they have a function that uh, does the calculation and then and everything. So yeah, that was uh, this update about the for, for engine 10.14 is pretty exciting and I hope you're gonna be excited as well. One nice thing to know is how to get notified when there's a new version out. Uh, I found out that you can add, if you add the Fofori core sample to your assets, then you receive an update. Um, you receive an email when they update the, the package and usually it's on the same day. So I hope this is helpful to you and let me know in the comments if you have any questions and see you next time.